The Toledo Mud Hens are throwing out first pitch on their 2024 season today. And of course, Jeff Smith live out at Fifth Third Field as fans are starting to head out. Jeff, what can you tell us? There's a little bit of a buzz already in downtown Toledo. I think this sunshine is helping out a lot of stuff as far as getting the crowd pumped up, ready for another kickoff to baseball. I shouldn't say kickoff. That has to do with football. We're talking baseball here today, the 22nd season for your Toledo Mud Hens. And a new manager, of course, we've got the groundskeeper of the year, Kyle Leppelmeyer, uh, out here. He was named groundskeeper of the year, and the field looks absolutely immaculate this morning morning as we're getting ready for some baseball. A lot of excitement. The team says that there are reasons to be excited throughout the entire season. You know, every year we, we try to outdo ourselves. So we got a, another, you know, big, uh, big season planned ahead as far as theme nights and promotions go. Um, you know, we'll, we'll be returning um, fireworks shows this summer. Uh, fans continue to want to see more fireworks shows. So we're excited to bring uh, bring that back. Uh, starting in June, every Saturday night, we'll have post-game fireworks, uh, live music uh, as well, post-game Fridays and Saturday nights starting in June. Uh, we have a lot of uh, fun and uni unique uh, music planned for the summer as well. And like we said, a lot of the excitement building already. 405 first pitch against the Nashville Sounds, and we want to check in with what that buzz is on those fans. Maybe buzz figuratively and literally at this hour. We're going to check in with Steve Iwanek. He continues our team coverage of downtown Toledo. Steve, take it away. Yeah, Jeff, thank you. It's the buzz is building downtown already. I know we're still four hours away from first pitch at Fifth Third Field, but we're here at Blarney's Irish Pub, and the fans are already starting to pile in, getting some lunch before they head down to the ballpark. And I'm joined now by the owner of this establishment, Ed Bazinski. Ed, this is always a tradition here in Toledo that's so well celebrated, so enjoyable for all the people of this city. Just talk about for you what it's like to have your restaurant buzzing here before first pitch. It doesn't get old. You know, this is our 18th opening day. We just got done with a great St. Patrick's Day, and I look forward to as much as I look forward to St. Patrick's Day. I love opening day. I'm a big baseball guy, so we're excited um, that the day's here already. Yeah. And I love the green jersey, by the way, celebrating both St. Patrick's Day and the opening day. Now, what is maybe your favorite tradition about opening day and just with the Mud Hens in general? Besides being a big baseball fan and a Tigers fan, I think just seeing all these people coming downtown probably more than half won't even go to the game I remember year one it was like game time four o'clock and it was packed and I we're running around and all of a sudden I'm looking it's like 4 30 I'm like why are all these people still here why aren't they at the game so it's just great to see people come down getting ready for spring at one the weather today is unusual for opening day in Toledo um, but again just seeing all all these people that have supported us all year coming down and if you're going to the game or not they're just down here having fun yeah and this weather I mean perfect right about 60 degrees I know Matt and Kaylee they've been talking long about it just a beautiful day for baseball so now I got to ask you you got to put on your fan hat now yeah give me a score prediction about today's ball game uh, I think Toledo they're they're going to have a great year and I think today is going to be eight to two Toledo all right you heard it here first right eight to two the Mud Hens are going to get a win today according to owner Ed Mazinski so fans are coming down Town. They're having a great time. We hope all of you are enjoying the festivities all across the city of Toledo today. Mud Hens first pitch at 4.05 right out downtown at 5th, 3rd Field. Jeff, I'm going to send it back to you at the, at the station. All right, Steve, thank you very much. Of course, a lot of excitement building around some new blood as far as Skipper down here for the fifth, third field season and the Mud Hens, Tim Fedorovich taking over this year at the helm. You've got 17 players who have adorned the Mud Hens uniform previously, 12 who will be new. And of course, one of the first things you may notice when you walk into the stadium this year is that field and there may be plenty of little things you don't notice but the team says it all adds up to the experience there's something about a baseball field that when you walk into the stadium and i remember being a kid and it was one of the first things you notice and we actually were just talking about that yesterday we were working on a visitor's bullpen and some of the little tiny detail stuff that we're teaching the new guys kind of what we do and it's it's one of those that i don't know if People notice that we do it, but it's one of those things where I think if it's not done, it gets noticed a little bit. So it's 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 rewarding to see it. 
And you could not ask for a better sports weekend in the Glass City either. This is a fins and feathers weekend. That's how they're building it. You've got both the Mud Hens and the Walleye with games in downtown. And we're going to check in once again with meteorologist Matt Willoughby joining me for the second year in a row down oh, here at Fifth Third Field. Excited to be here, honestly. Just the atmosphere of this place. You can just feel the atmosphere building up here uh, for that 4 p.m. Uh, so it's truly going to be uh, amazing to see that. They probably looked at the calendar and thought, okay, one, we've got the earliest start ever for Mud Hens baseball on the calendar. Mm -hmm. You're talking in the end of March. Yes today couldn't have worked out any better. Yeah, I mean, truly, you, you truly never know what kind of days you're going to get in March, whether it's cold, snow, or anything, but thankfully, we got I think that's why signs. the Indians start on the road <laughs> almost every single year, not knowing if they're going to have a snow out. Exactly, and yeah, we got those sunny skies, but also we got some rain coming up uh, for Saturday that we may have to watch for for uh, the second game of this series. All right, stay with us. We've got continued coverage out here at Fifth Third Field. We'll be back right after.